65. So we're buying the um carnivore gadget thing. Let's see what we get. Because I have m most carnivores because I like carnivores. I want a Magnarothus. I'm probably going to literally not pronounce any of these right. Now we got the herbivores. I really don't like the herbivores because it's so hard to find plants. A Marinus? A Marinus? I'm going to do like a gameplay video or something like showing all the ones I have. Um, if I need more, I will definitely get more shrooms and I'll play for like an hour or two. If I can stay alive, um, if we need more shrooms. I want a Reviation, Reviation. Also, that was the, um, Omnivores. Now we are doing the Sky Gotchas, which they get more expensive. I like the Sky ones. I like the ones that have, like, a lot of stigma. And it's kind of fast, like the, well, the starter creature, the Nitolatus. I won that thing. But I'm talking about the Breequeak. <laughs> the sea gotchas. I really do not like sea gotchas because I'm never in the sea and there's barely anyone ever in the sea. What did I get? I'm definitely training that. I don't like the chammy, whatever it's called. I'll buy another one of those, maybe. Here are these semi-aquatic ones. The semi-aquatic ones are okay. Because I traded my other um, thingy that I just got. I traded that because I didn't like it. What? I don't know, but it has greenery and stuff on it. I need 16 more species to unlock that. By 100. What is this one? I think they just need sun and not water or anything. Or do they not need food and they need water? But that wouldn't make sense because there's a sun. I don't know. I really don't. Okay. Farina fee? I might buy another one of these if I have enough. They seem really cool. They're on. You can explore a gotcha token to spin this. Find one more on the map. I guess I got a token. I don't even remember that. Here's the session gotchas. And this is the last one. This one's a lot of money. But it has good creatures like the Kendall and the Bizu. I like the Bizu too. And the uh, Santa, Sana. Oh, that hurt. That hurt bad. <laughs> what did I win? That thing. A pernic Rex? Reminds me of a phoenix, kind of. I really want the candle. Okay. We will get another... Uh, we'll get another... Um. We'll get another one of these. It doesn't cost that much. Please give me a good creature. Oh, that thing has a tiny eye. I'm going to get another one because I really want the... Um, Honestly, actually, I don't know because I accidentally just joined a pack whoops not even loaded in the game dude i'm gonna get another one of these because i really want the kendall or the bizu or like a lot of these creatures they're really cool <gasps> i got the bizu yay i love the bizu i'll get one more of these maybe one more <laughs> i don't know Another good one. What happens if you get a creature twice? Uh, 
Uh, what? What happens when you get a what? Does it just re like? I guess it just wastes your money. Don't get a bizu this time, please. If I get another bizu, I'm gonna cry. Please a candle, please a candle, please a candle. A karata pretina. I'll be trading these, some of these. The ones I don't like that much. Okay. I'm gonna do math real quick. Hmm. Should I buy it? Nah. Not now. We'll buy another. Uh, one of these. And once we get down to 500, I'll buy another one. Maybe. If I get down to 500. Ooh, that looks like a cool creature. I like its eyeliner. <laughs> I love the creature with eyeliner. I think that's so cute. We'll buy another one. And what is it going to be? Great, I already have this creature. Oof. I hate when it wastes your money like that. Oh, I'm not going to get another one of these. I'm going to get another... What's it called? The 500 one. Ooh. That looks cool. Okay, and I'm going to get one of these... Which one? The carnivore? Or, or we're definitely going carnivore. Carnivore? <laughs> carnivore. Because I really don't like big ones. And what did I get? I forgot if I have this one. I think I do. Then we're going to get another one of these. Please, I want the candle. Like, like so I can get the candle, hopefully. I'm closing my eyes. What did I get? What did I get? Oof, just wasted my money again. I got the same thing. Oof, oh, I hate that. I'll buy another one of these. I know I only have 48, and then we can probably trade some mushrooms, or not. Give me a good creature, give me a good creature, give me a good creature. Stop wasting my money. <laughs> Killed a Sar and a Hellion, good for you. Good for you. So, we're gonna try the Bizu. Bizus are Intelligent and social creatures that live. Jesus, I cannot read. Nocturnally, nocturnally among massive hives consisting of thousands of their own relatives, their sting warrants a deadly, paralyzing toxin that can prove fatal if even the largest unarmored creature against a swarm. Typically, typically, <laughs> typically, Bizu live among a queen. However, legends say somewhere out there is Serena's privileges that the king Bizu resides within a hive named Barry. Its health is 800, damage 40, speed that stuff. It weighs 104 pounds, grows in seven minutes. It's a tier one. It has Toxin 1, Bleed Defense 10. And then the, this dude... Okay, I'll just join your pack. I don't care. <laughs> Health is 500, which is pretty good. But I just don't like sea creatures. Ch 
Chimmy are very large whale-like beasts of Agartha's ocean. They are very slow-moving, preferring to stick together in small groups as they gradually glide through the ocean currents, coming up to breach the surface of the water often. Despite their soft-looking exterior, Chimmel are a force to be not are a force to be reckoned with, reckoned, reckoned with, stopping at nothing to protect their family pod groups from attackers. Then we have this thing. I hope this is a good creature. Health is really good. Damage is pretty good. It's weight. Woof. And it takes 60 minutes to grow. And it's a tier 5. What? Crater Pertina are large slug-like creature. Touching or even leaving get or even getting near this creature can leave you intoxicated or paralyzed. Though even with great toxin the ability to paralyze, crater have rather weak and fragile skin leaving them to take heavy hits. Okay. Its damage is good, but it's pretty weak. Poisoned 1, Toxins 2, Negro Poisons 2, Bleed Defense 5. Then we have this thing. I got this thing. I've had this, but I haven't read the thing yet. I replaced it once, and then went AFK, and then died. So you can breathe acid. Wow, okay. The di um, mar uh is an armored bip um honestly you guys can read that i cannot read that dude moving on we have okay this one's stronger yeah this one's definitely stronger our pet creatures are stronger in numbers but well off on their own most of the time they use their strong legs to kick slash claw slash fight to fend off predators it has no abilities, but it's cool looking, and I'll take it. Oh, oh, these are the little spinny things. I've seen these things before. It ain't that good of a creature, though. There's a funky little plant lizard, like an athletic appetite for extreme violence and word <laughs> world domination, using its incredible helicopter ability to fly through the skies at incredible speeds. The front of fly is definitely not to be a point to mess with. Next we have, uh, I think I already had this thing. Yeah, I did. This thingy, it has bleed 6 and bleed defense 30. Uh, it's pretty cool. Large omnivore that is somewhat aggressive when confronted. Their body is covered in dense spike spikes and <laughs> plants. Pla plates and while well, their body has protective mass with massive claws and large formats approaching it from the front is not the best option and then we got i think i no no i didn't get that one okay ah this one has a bleed two and bleed defense 15 mysterious creatures that inhabit sonora Features include extreme even with pinkish skin and shockingly human-like hands. Its behavior is almost unpredictable. Being an omnivore, you don't know if it would eat you or not. It really depends on what it's craving. Oh no, that's bad. And then I have this thing. Did I get? Yes, I did. I got a lot of creatures today. I'm proud of it. Health is... Holy moly. That health and that damage. Are blind? Okay, they're blind. Carnivorous beasts. Carnivorous beasts that are covered in bones. Planting that extend from their head to their tail. Barbels extend from their head. Helping them feel and see, in quotation marks, the surroundings as they lack eyesight. Only and mostly hunt down the large herbivores like. I'm going to pretend. 
like I know how to pronounce all of that. Bleed twenty, bleed defense twenty percent, whatever that means in the bottom right there. And then we got all oh, these big fluffy beasts. Big fluffy beasts who live in herds lead by the well herd leader, which is a male. Females have smaller horns, chin and no hair on their head. But has longer tusks. And that's pretty cool. Now we have Whoa, that is so cool looking. You would think this is our herbivore. Its health is pretty good too. Our large predatory plant crocodiles that lurk in murky swamps and dense jungles of Sonoraya. They spend most of their lives in water, grabbing their play prey and dragging them down in depth. It's bleed bro bone break. You can bone break and the bleed defense. Then we got this. You know, I would showcase them off right now, but I might make a part two because this video is already long. I can sense it. Usually, walk on cliff sides. Well, they're roost. Their hunting style is similar to existing seabirds when they die with their wings at back. It's a tier three. Its health is okay. This thing that reminds me of Phoenix. Our bat pack hunters behavior similarly to wolves. They're extremely hostile and aggressive, but if you stay out of their territory, or in other words, if they go up in plains and forests, they'll stay out of your hair or fur. They have an incredible sense of smell, using it to track prey for miles. That's cool as the saturated teeth. And this one, I think, is the last one that I have. Oh, yes. And then the, I just realized I got that such or whatever it's called. Is usually a very fast swimmer, but with little defense due to the fact that there's nothing to protect it in its body. So we have attacking someone raised with a tail blow. Okay, it's not that strong, but it's okay. It, it's okay. Then we got this thing, which is... Do I already have that? I swear there was something that looks just like that. I think I might have had this thing all along. 